Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about how to create our custom lightning page uh, you know, template. So if you want to learn something new, so please watch this video until end. Also don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn something new. Also you can subscribe the channel, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to do one thing. You have to create your Aura component and based on this Aura, we can design this custom lightning page template. So let's get started here. So let me open my VS code. So inside this VS code, you have to create your, your Aura component. So how to create the Aura component? Very simple. Just control shift P. I'm using window and just search like Aura. So here you can see the Aura component. You can give any name as you want. Let's say demo. Right now I'm giving this demo and it's creating the Aura component behind the scene and also in the you know, force app you will be see the Aura Aura have demo and demo have contain lots of you know files rela related to this component so we have to design the you know component first so demo component this is the component and later on we will design our design attributes so under here in the Aura component you have to implement you know interface so we have to use like implements and here like implements and after implements you have to give like this one lightning app home template something like that okay so you have to use like lightning colon app home right home template something like that so this is the interface you have to implement if you want to use or if you want to create any custom template, lightning template. So here this one. Description, you can give any description as you want. Let's say description equal to, in double quote, you can give let's say custom page template. Custom page template. Something like that. Okay. So here you can see we already implement this interface. Now it's time to use like Aura attribute. Okay, so in Aura attribute, you have to design your uh, you know attribute. So first of all, let me select uh, one attribute here like this. Okay, so in this attribute, you have to maintain, you know, like name as left because we have to take this kind of property that is left, right, header, footer, something like that. So how to design it? So name equal to you have to give let's say left so this is the left one left part left and after that type you can give like aura dot component so under here we have to use in double quote aura dot component okay aura dot component and this is the array type okay let me make it like component after that you can give the description so description let's say this is the description this is left reason something like that so left reason okay you can maintain any description as you want for now i'm using this word okay so make it like a L capital it should be good so let's say region left reason same thing you can apply for right header and footer so let me uh, put these things here okay and now you have to change this left to right okay so just you can go here and uh, you can change this one so let me change this right right or a dot component same thing we have to use and we have to use here that is right reason here you can see this one that is header so we have to consider this header okay and this is a header region like header region same thing for footer so it's a footer and for a component array type and then let's say footer footer region so our design attribute is ready that is attribute property and after that you have to design these things so how to design it very simple just create the div here division purpose right so this is the div here okay after that you have to design the layout 
so we already seen this one like a header after that we have to design layout under here we have to use lightning okay hyphen or colon layout and this one okay so uh, like a lightning layout uh, layout item flexi flexibility auto and padding around so you can make it this one auto or grow based on our need so let me change this one let's say grow and uh, class you can use like a padding or you know any kind of thing you can use it but here i need to use another you know that is class slds class and that slds class is slds hyphen m hyphen right that is margin right and underscore small something like that okay and after that you can see the left here this is the first one second one we already seen here that is uh, you can give the size as well of this one but here flexibility if you need you can give otherwise leave it as it is so i already use this flexibility in the left but i'm not using in the right one so let me remove this flexibility and let me use that uh, slds class here under this slds class same left okay so now our slds is related to you know this aura and uh, after that you have to use like size right so how to provide the size here you have to give another attributes or property of this one let's say size so size equal to you can give using this binding expression right so like dollar like this exclamatory then you know dollar and you have to use browser dot is desktop if browser or desktop is available so we can use this one okay like browser is like is desktop if desktop then we can provide like uh, some value based on the size otherwise six something like that okay so this is the layout now let me design the you know footer part so footer part is very easy we can use it right so first of all after uh, this layout we already close it so this is the first layout so here to here this is the first layout or you can close this one and now you have to design footer so how to design the footer again you can see this footer here right so now our design attribute is ready or this template is ready now we have to use it so before you using this template now again you have to design some you know attributes regarding that uh, design dot component so how to use that just save this file okay fine guys so now our component is ready now we have to design the attributes regarding this aura so you have to open that uh, demo dot design because it's uh, related to our design attribute and based on this design we can create and we can implement these all things so here you have to do one thing under this design just you have to use like label in the component label so here i need to add like label label equal to you can give any label label as you want like two reason custom app based template something like that two reason okay two reason and a custom app custom app base template something like that okay so now here our level is ready now we have to use a flexi page colon template one so we have to design this one flexi flexi this one and here so under flexi page template we have to design flexi page reason something like that okay so first name is you know header because we already use that header and label header reason you can give the label here let's say label equal to let's say header reason right after that you can define like a default width okay so default width i want to use like large so you have to define 
लार्ज हेयर सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट यू नो रीजन आफ्टर अनोदर रीजन आई नीड टू यूज लाइक अ लेफ्ट वन सो हाउ टू डिजाइन दिस वन सो इन दिस रीजन प्लीज ऑब्जर्व दिस वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ओके इन द टेम्पलेट वी हैव रीजन अंडर दिस रीजन वी हैव टू यूज अनोदर डेट इज लेफ्ट हेयर लाइक लेफ्ट एंड यू कैन गिव द लेबल एज यू वॉन्ट लेट से लेबल कल टू दिस इज द लेफ्ट रीजन ओके लेफ्ट रीजन सो हेयर दिस इज अ लेफ्ट रीजन एंड डिफॉल्ट विट यू कैन गिव लाइक मीडियम लाइक मीडियम ओके सो दिस इज द मीडियम विथ इज ओके so this is the one reason we already created now we have to use form factor so based on the form factor we can use it that is form factor flexi based form factor so how to design this one so you have to use like flexi flexi base okay flexi base colon form factor this word so flexi base form factor type medium with small type medium we have to use like medium width we can use the width here for width you can use any width as you want let's say small something like that. okay so this is a form factor in the left one okay so we have to close here because i need that uh, form region in the left one so just control z i need to take this one after here i need to paste it right and uh, this is uh, inside uh, you know on that uh, uh, region after that you have to use like flexi region right this one flexi region right level left uh, right region default width you can give like a uh, small so let me make it like small this one like small okay and uh, after that you can use that is footer footer one so how to define you can use uh, no need like form factor right now we can use here for footer right so flexi page flexi page colon after that you have to use like reason equal to footer and footer region let's say large and then template and component close so this is the design one you have to design like this once you design now you can deploy it okay label let me check the label uh, somewhere we missed that is label here let me save this and let me deploy so once you deploy it Flexi region must allow to either attribute this, this, and this name. Flexi pin region name equal to. Then we have to use this one. You already give this one, so we have to consider like that. Let's let me save this. Still, we have error. Let's save this. Name attribute everything in the same. you know line so you have to deploy this template so here let me show you how to deploy it just do one thing just save this because our design attribute is ready just save this and after this save you can see deployment successfully done of this aura component so how to use this aura component as a custom lightning page template you can use it inside the you know uh, lightning app page so how to do that just open the or so this is my or here you can see lots of thing that is app manager something like that right also lightning page like lightning page or here you can see the lightning app builder right there are so many things but we have to create this uh, operation first let's see this one so lightning app page lightning app builder so let me create a new one this is the new one to create the page so here you can see 
have lots of things like app page, home page, record page, something like that, right? So how to use our uh, template? So our template name we already give in the code if you see here and that is custom page template, right? So how to show into select app page, click on next, let's say demo, click next and here you can see the standard one like header and left sidebar, something like that. You know very well these all things. But if you don't want these all standard things, you can just override these all things with your custom one. So we already created like two region custom app page template. So you have to select like this, click done. And once you click on done, immediately you can see here, this is the right panel, left panel, and that is the header, footer, and uh, left, and uh, you know, uh, this right panel. So you can design these all, you know, custom template if you need. Let's say I want to make it, uh, uh, this is the not, I don't want this, you know, uh, right panel. So you can just remove it from here. So how to do that? Very simple and very easy because uh, we have this one. So you can just comment out here if you need or you can delete it here as well. So let me save this and immediately you will be see this one in the Excel. Okay. So here you can see successfully deployed. Now let me refresh this one, reload, and this time you will not see any right panel. Okay, let's click next, demo, click next, select custom region, done. And here you can see this is the header. Please observe, very most important. This is the header, right? This is the left uh, you know region and this is the footer this is the footer so we have thing so you can design based on your requirement so it's a very easy and to handle these all things so i hope you got the answer right so if you feel like this is a very more informative video for us so please like share comments please turn on the bell icon for more updates also you can subscribe my youtube channel it's up to you okay so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys